Hi guys. So we are working on activity two in lesson two of chapter three, which is gonna be actually looking at our mountain model. So ours looks a little bit different from the pictures. Um, so in the picture, it was showing pom-poms. Um, we're gonna be using cotton balls today just because that's what I have at home. So, it, but it still has a similar shape. So we're noticing our really high area of land up here, and then we still have our high land around it, and our plate would be kind of considered like our lower land. So today we're going to be focusing on looking at how erosion can cause a big change over time. So before we go ahead and actually use the model, I want you guys to think about what do you think would happen to the mountain as water hits? Because when it rains in the mountains, it is actually creating streams that are going down our mountain. So it's a stream that's flowing down the mountain constantly. So what do you think are some things that might be happening to the mountain as it's raining out? You guys can go ahead and pause this video and answer the question in your packet, talk to somebody at home, or just think about it in your head really quickly. So when I'm thinking about rain, um, and I remember this from our land uh, or our handbook of land and water, I'm remembering that rain can cause erosion, and erosion is when tiny bits of rock come off, which is over time going to change the shape of our landform. So we are going to be thinking about our mountain model using cotton balls. So each cotton ball that we have shows a piece of rock, a tiny, tiny piece of rock. And every single time that I take a cotton ball off of our model, that's representing 50 years. So this teeny, tiny piece of rock, it would take 50 years of rain streaming down the mountain to actually cause it to erode or for a tiny piece of rock to come off. And once that rock does come off, that is going to be carried somewhere else. So maybe this tiny piece of rock is going down a stream when it's raining and will then flow into an ocean and become a piece of sand or will flow into a river and become a piece of sand. So it's not that this is totally disappearing, it's just going elsewhere. So when we look at our mountain model, if I take one piece of one cotton ball away or one tiny piece of rock, um, are we noticing a change? So when I look at it, I wouldn't be able to notice a change right away just from taking that one piece off. So then we need to think about, would we need to change our model map that we made? So just based off of taking that one tiny piece off, I don't think I would need to change my map because my shape still looks the same as it did before, even though it's just one small piece that came off. So now what I want you guys to do is I want you to close your eyes and then I'm going to have you open them after and we're gonna see if we notice a change with our model. So go ahead and close your eyes and do not open them until I tell you. Okay, so go ahead and open your eyes. So do we notice a change in our mountain now? So again, if I am just looking at it, I'm not noticing a huge change. I still see this area of very high land up here, and then we still have our area of high land, so I don't immediately notice a change. Um, but I did actually take one more cotton ball away. So um, why do you think it's so difficult to tell if I removed anything from our mountain model? So I want you guys to just take a second to think about that. Why is it hard to tell that something's changing even when I'm taking things away? So when I'm thinking about it, first thing I'm thinking is that these cotton balls, remember, are, represent tiny pieces of rock. So if we're thinking about tiny pieces of rock coming off of a really large mountain, we're probably not going to notice a huge change in our landform. Another thing to remember is that every single time one of these comes off, it is representing 50 years before this actually changes. So over 50 years, one of these pieces might fall away. So it takes a really, really long time for all of these cotton balls to eventually erode or fall off. So it's taking a lot of time. And also these are really, really small pieces that come off. Okay, so I will see you guys back on our next video to continue talking about our mountain model.